Hi, this is Tom Gore with VeloComp. Today I'm going to show you how to set up the new PowerPod Lite V3. First step is to make sure that your PowerPod V3 Lite is fully charged. When you receive the unit, plug it into the USB charger. You'll see the light will begin to flash red. Let it, let it flash red until it completely goes out. Then you'll know your PowerPod is completely charged. After the unit is fully charged, unplug the unit from the USB charger. Force a reset of the unit by pressing and holding the button on the PowerPod Lite V3 for approximately 12 seconds. You'll see the light will begin to flash green. It will momentarily go off and then resume flashing again. At this point, you can release the button. Now we're going to attach the PowerPod Lite V3 to the bike. When attaching, make sure the PowerPod Lite is firmly mounted to the bike without any wobble. Next, wake your speed and cadence sensors to make sure that they're active. Force a pairing of the PowerPod Lite V3 by pressing and holding the button for approximately 4 seconds until the LED begins to flash green. Notice successful pairing by the brief solid green light and then the light will go out. Next, pair the unit to your head unit. Next, it's time to do the short calibration ride of the PowerPod Lite V3. You'll know it's in calibration mode because when you click the button one time, the light should be yellow. Now, just simply go out and ride the bike for approximately 90 seconds and your unit will be calibrated. Simply start a ride on your head unit. The light on the PowerPod is still glowing in the yellowish amber color. And it will begin flashing once the calibration is initiated. Note the wattage climbing from one at 50 now, but all the way through to 100 as the calibration ride progresses. Hundred watts has been reached. Continue to ride. And there you are, actual wattage. Take note that after the calibration ride, your light will go off on the power pod. You'll know you're getting proper data because you'll see it on your head unit, but you can also verify that the unit's on by pressing the button once. You should see a solid green light. Another trick I like to use when I finish a ride is to manually turn off the unit before dismounting the bike. To do that, just press the button five times and the light will go from green to yellow to red, then off, just like a traffic light would. For your daily rides, simply just wake your sensors on the bike, press the button once on the power pod, the light will flash green momentarily, it'll go solid green, then out, start a ride on your Garmin or your other head unit, whatever head unit you're using, and go on your way. You can optionally customize your PowerPod light settings using the free Powerhouse bike application. Download and install the application on your Android or iOS device. Click the button of the PowerPod light to awaken it and launch the app. Click on the gear icon in the lower right corner of the application. Then click on rider, bike, and sensor setup. Make sure there is a check mark next to the sensors. If not, touch the sensors button and then click the scan for sensors. When you see a check mark, click on the rider info button at the top left of the screen. Select your bike profile one. Then click the down button at the top right of the screen to enter your other settings, bike type, bike weight, wheel size, rider height, rider weight, etc. It's going to ask you for your FTP, your functional threshold power. Enter 150 if you don't know yours, but this has no bearing on your calibration. Click on the Rider Info button at the top left of the screen, then click Save to update your PowerPod light settings. It'll say Bike Profile Written. Do you want to activate this profile? Select the Yes button. Powerhouse Profile Activated. Click OK. You've now customized your PowerPod light settings using the Powerhouse Bike application. To get even more out of your PowerPod Lite V3, you can download and install the free Isaac software for PC or Mac. 
This is available in the support tab of our website at www.velocomp.com. You can connect your PowerPod light to Isaac. If you wish, you can perform the highest accuracy calibration by using the device, device setup wizard feature of Isaac and selecting best accuracy on the final step of the setup wizard. For highest accuracy setup, you'll do an out and back calibration ride. Your PowerPod Lite V3 internal memory records the first 10 minutes of each ride. Click the download ride button to see your PowerPod Lite data, including power, wind speed, bike speed, elevation profile, slope, cadence, and or heart rate if you have these sensors paired. You can use Isaac to install optional features as well to your PowerPod Lite. 